let's get closer with our analysis here by taking a look at the dollar index what I have here in front of me is a dollar index chart uh, dated from 1973 until the present time 2018 so how I'm labeling this chart is as a one two three four five in a falling wedge in an ending diagonal and then followed by an A or one pretty much I would actually say that it has much more chances of being an A than being a uh, one wave I mean the first impulsive wave this is uh, this is because if we were to um, take a look uh, closer take a closer look at this piece right here this rise uh, which we're gonna do by the way on the weekly chart once we once we finish up with this macro view once we you know, will start uh, taking a look at uh, taking, a, taking a closer look then uh, we will actually notice that this in fact would be an A wave and not a one however it can be a one if it will be uh, price action would develop in some sort of ending uh, diagonal let's say but for now an A would be much more appropriate and the reason why I'm labeling this as a one two three four five and not as a triangle is basically because let's say from 1976 here somewhere around there yeah the dollar did uh, gain some uh, some strength and with that being said I'm going to show you something else which I basically I managed to get my hands on the USD Japanese yen chart which is basically dated from 1960 until then and this picture basically this this pretty much looks uh, more appropriate let's say so we could say that the dollar before before 1976 was much 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 stronger yeah so basically the, the larger movement comes from from strength of the uh, US dollar index therefore um, from there it, it actually dropped yeah so um, the, how I'm labeling this chart is basically in a falling wedge in an ending diagonal itself so we, we would have a B C in cycle waves um, and then completing super cycle one then w x y in super cycle uh, two and then one two three four five super cycle three and then this triangle a b c d e yeah in super cycle wave four followed by an ending diagonal itself in wave five super cycle five so therefore we would be completing grand super cycle a red now the reversal happened of course we broke through this trend line yeah of the ending diagonal itself and pretty much we are consolidating in in these times I mean I'm pretty sure that you are aware of what's happening with uh, US, US dollar yen yeah so we would be taking a look a closer look right here even with this piece right here um, basically when we go through charts it will become much much clearer however how I'm labeling this is as, is as an A B C within the A and then this triangle being the B and one two three four five in the C thus completing an A wave now this move on the downside pretty much doesn't really look like it's the final uh, move it would be followed by a larger contraction and then a deeper fall before the C wave would commence right here and go further up so we can actually complete a larger pattern now going back on the on the dollar index right there I would actually say that this drop would not be the entire move in order for us to basically correct this a so the USD JPY chart agrees with that dollar index chart does agree with that that doesn't mean that we would not have a contraction I would actually expect a contraction and you will actually see um, you know, be able to see my thoughts uh, I, I will share with you my thoughts there when we actually go on the charts but just to just to let you know what my view is on the dollar index it's basically let's say we would find another low yeah for us to complete one pattern and then the corrective of it followed by a deeper pullback yeah and that deeper pullback would be some sort of market uncertainty 
yeah but even the rise would be quite big so anyway I'm expecting a free waves free wave move here on the downside upside downside lower than this point so in this case it will take some time until this price action develops hence the reason why I think that the market would give us the I mean the global indexes and everything would contract within this piece right here within this contraction ABC yeah so that's that's basically it for the dollar index so far next we're gonna continue with the metals with gold XAUUSD